Hello and welcome to my Rainbow Kitchen where I show you how easy it is to live a whole foods plant-based lifestyle using the Thermomix. My name is Julia and today I want to show you how to make the cashew sour cream recipe from the Cook I Do app. I'm actually going to use the sour cream in another recipe. Um, the video should be up sometimes after this one. And uh, so let's get started. added the recipe to my week and it's called cashew sour cream. First step is some sprigs of chives and one garlic glove and I've already uh, measured this out. So I put that in here and we're going to insert put the lid on and insert the measuring cups and I'm going to chop this up at speed 7 for 5 seconds. And we're going to transfer this in a bowl and set it aside. And it just got chopped up a little bit. You can, I, you know, I, well, I, I'm actually using this for a savory recipe, so I think all of this sour cream is definitely a savory sort of chive, garlic, onion, uh, sour cream. So next step is to put in the cashews. I have 120 grams of cashews. I have a little short. 150 grams of water. 60 grams of brown onion, so for me that was about half an onion. So that ended up being about three quarters of an onion. And lemon juice, about uh, the juice of one lemon. So we'll see where this will get us. Next. Measuring cup and lid. And now we're going to uh, chop this up with speed knife for 20 seconds. So that was 20 seconds. Now we're going to spray it down the sides. And it's already looking like uh, cream. Put that back in, and now we're gonna cook it for five minutes on speed uh, nine, um, uh, ninety degrees on speed three. So I will be back in five minutes. Time's up. So let's see what we got. Let's put next here. And it definitely looks like a sour cream. It's also of us to smell a little bit of a curdling going on too. Right. Next, after we serve chives, put the lid back on and now we're going to mix it again on speed 3 just to get those chives and that garlic incorporated. I'm going to scrape this down and put it in a dish. Transfer to a jar and let it cool down and then place it in the refrigerator and keep it in the fridge for Show you this. So it's, you know, it's the consistency of sour cream. It smells quite delicious. So let's do a little taste test here. It definitely smells delicious. It's nice and thick, as you can see. And it flops down. It definitely has a very savory smell to it, so it's warm at this point, so I'm sure the thickness and the flavor profiles have changed some, somewhat once it's cooled. This is quite delicious. If you wanted to make a sour cream that is not savory, I would recommend just leaving out the garlic chives and the onion and just using the cashew water and lemon juice and blending that up, cooking it and then blending it some more and then you'll have a neutral tasting sour cream. Thank you for joining me in my Rainbow Kitchen today where I show you how easy it is to live a whole food plant based lifestyle using the Thermomix and today I showed you how easy it is to make a cashew sour cream in Thermomix and they taught me in email so I have a few empty bowls because you know I prep ahead a little bit for these videos if I was just cooking for myself, there wouldn't need to be those. Um, now I can use the pre-clean function to get the thermomix clean and ready to go for our for my next recipe in which I'm going to use the sour cream. If you have any questions about the thermomix, feel free to reach out. If you want to learn more about how the thermomix fits into your kitchen, then it's an easy four-step process to schedule a cooking demonstration with me and I'll link to a video where you can learn more about this four-step process and how to 
So have a great day and thanks so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps me grow my channel.